Lord, they had over the piano, she began to preach. She played the piano. Not even ever learning to play. Amen. 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 Yeah, now the piano just stopped playing. <laughs> Amen. But anyway, that's why we should all go out to be people doing good. Yeah. Yeah. You know why? Because the Holy Ghost is the, and has more wisdom and more knowledge than any person, even that the Jesus said to him. Say, Amen. They have the wisdom of Solomon. But he said, I'd rather than Solomon was in. Amen. We're going to go ahead and look at back to the apostles and with Amen. And with, 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 amen. I want you to understand that. Amen. amen. Uh, uh, that you need to think about. Amen. Because you need the Holy Ghost. Amen. You don't want to go to the job, you need the Holy Ghost. Right, right. Oh, yeah. uh, if you don't work on a job, you need wisdom. You need knowledge. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I, 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 was, yeah, man, I was this brother who was saying that uh, people who have a Holy Ghost are ten times smarter. Uh, now, ten times more wisdom than the other man was. That's why you need it. You, Amen. The Holy Ghost is going to put you ahead. Right. I mean, you ain't going to be behind because you're wiser, you're smarter. Amen. Huh? Amen. You got more wisdom, you got more knowledge than your person that don't have it. Amen. 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 Praise God. I love the Lord. Do y'all know what i And the book of Acts of the Apostles, Amen. And we're talking, Amen. Today about the man, you gotta be see every time I know the Lord, we were telling us to go be little like talking about Paul, the I main man Saul. In the ninth chapter of the book of Acts, and Saul yet breathed out his threat and slaughtered against the disciples of the Lord. Is it ninth chapter? Praise God. And went to the high priest, the desire of him led up to the master. To the synagogue that we found any of that way, whether they were men or women, he bind them, brought them, bound them to Jerusalem. Amen. And as he journeyed, he came and kneeled to the masters, and suddenly there was shining around and about him a light from heaven, and he fell to the and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why question thou me? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecute. It is hard for thee to kick in the prison. And he trembled and afraid, and the son said, Lord, what will thou have me to do? Amen. Oh, yeah. Praise God. And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the city, and it shall be told thee what thou must do. Amen. Amen. Now that's what you praise God. So, amen. Now, praise God. Now, this is what he had done. He had done all these different things. Now, he uh, but God, amen, had a way for Saul to do. But on the other hand, when I was thinking about it, you know the man is like God. God never used a little scary man. Amen. 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 No, and I thought like this, and I was like, you know what, man, because they hit me. Huh? What would make you a hypocrite would be fair because you're afraid to really do huh? what you're supposed to be doing. So you find yourself doing two things. Trying to free two people. Yeah. But when you're in the fair of your heart, you only try to please one person because the Bible says you can't serve two masters at the same time. Yeah. You're going to serve one to hate the other, you're going to serve one to spy the other, one to 
yourself. A hypocrite trying to serve two masters. Yeah. But God knew uh, Saul, I mean, uh, uh, Saul. Because Saul was in the prison, therefore his God was going to do one thing. Huh? Yeah, okay. you know, God can only use a person to have one thing in mind. Yo, know, you can't tell it to judge. Yeah. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. And, yeah, amen. Whatever you want to be good at anything, you got to serve only one thing. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. And the men who had done it uh, with him stood speaking, hearing a boy, but seeing no man. And Saul arose from the dirt, and when he had, and he, when his eyes was open, he saw no man, but they led him by the hand and brought him unto the masters. And he was there over there three days without a sight, neither did he not drink. And that was a certain disciple at the masters, named Ananias. And to him he said the Lord in a vision, Ananias, and he said, Behold, I am here, Lord. And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the street which is called Straight, and inquire in the house of Judas for one called Saul of Tarsus. For behold, he prayed. He prayed. Mm -hmm. Amen. And have seen an avenge in a vein named Ananias coming in and putting his hand on him. That he might receive his sight. Amen. Now this is what it is. And Ananias answered, Lord, I have heard by many of this man how much evil he has done to our sins. And he had authority from that. To bind all that call on thy name. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said unto him, Go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel to me. Now, Father, he is a chosen vessel to the Lord. Now, you know why? Because God can use, I would say again, now, despite what he had did. Now, only thing about what Paul was doing, he would not have been doing it. When he was buying those folks, putting them in jail, amen, committing them to death, he wasn't going to be even doing one thing. And God knew what Paul would do. Uh -huh. God knew that Paul, if he praised God, you know, filled with the Holy Ghost, he was going, he was not going to back down or take down. He was going to stand bold. Bold. See, the Holy Ghost make you bold. Wow. Amen. 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 But see, even if a scary man had the Holy Ghost, he wouldn't be even no service to the Holy Ghost. People that were afraid did not go serve to themselves, but the Lord, nobody else. Amen. Amen. But they're going to be afraid to stand up for what they believe. Yeah. Stand up for their church. Yeah. Stand up for their preacher. Yeah. Or stand up for what their doctrine. They're going to be afraid to stand up if they have faith in the heart. So you're going to spend your time trying to please folks. Yeah. Amen. And you ain't what you know about it. Amen. 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 Come on now. I say you ain't what you know about it. And God knew, amen, by Saul. Because Saul, hey, no like Peter. Peter was young. There are two, two guys in the Bible named Saul and one of them named Peter. Peter and Saul were well educated. Peter, they called him under love. Uh, amen. They called him under uh, love. Mm -hmm. But Peter did as many music as Paul did because he had to go to Half had to preach by Peter, the other half preached by Paul. Mm -hmm. But Peter wasn't a scary man. He was like the man he yeah. <laughs> He knew he wouldn't take down. Peter wasn't a scary man he now, if you want to read it, you read about not one of these men was afraid. 
Not even with them. They wouldn't even care what happened to them. And if you really want to be so sad, you might get a pay out of your heart. Amen. You really want to wait for the Lord and do something with God, you might get a pay out of your heart. Else you ain't going to be no servant to your church, or to your community, or to your city, and to nobody else. I was missing one time and I was like, hey man, this man was running for president. I ain't gonna help a man running for president. President of the United States. Are you listening? Uh -huh. And this man asked him a question. I asked him man one question. And anybody should have had no sit down. Uh -huh. He said, if you had the man, if you see somebody that raped me your wife, what would you do? He said, no.
But now he wants to go call and do what he wants. Now you just want to say it. Call down and do what they man what he needs already put you in the church. He's already had you put in jail. That way this thing gonna change Paul. The Paul gonna be changed. And he's gonna be capable of doing the word of God, living for the Lord. Amen. Living holy, living clean. Amen. And fulfilling the commandment of God and suffering for his name's sake. So he went on to say, Praise God. Let's get in. Amen. They filled with the Holy Ghost, and immediately, when he laid his hand on them, they fell for that. They let him in the scale, and he received sight. Bubbled and rose, and were baptized. Now, all these things, all the, 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 the messes that we put at the end, not to be the only time to have a, a good a message on that. But at the end of every one of these great men, the last word was down there. Baptized. Now you got to understand. Can you say why? Now, the only thing going to take away Paul was a foot and kill for And then all this stuff. Right? Yeah. Huh? All this stuff in the time. Because all that they're going to take this out of the time, you don't get to be baptized. That's going to happen. The other way you see, you know, you get baptized, it's kind of like. Buried with him. And resurrection with him. You know, you're buried in stuff. Oh, you freaking have a take on that person. Uh, but buried, that the water that is inside you. Buried, all of your bad deeds are going to walk. Uh -huh. And rise in the news of the right. Yeah. See, the thing that you've done, all the errors and mistakes you have. All that stuff is taken care of, I have baptism. And that's why sometimes people don't amount to it, because everybody, everybody, even the need that he had, he said, the piece of candy made for me a while, and she's not even baptized. Because unless you baptize, you probably would never really be your best. Because you have to your coffee going to be eating you. When you go out and be baptized, and you go down and come up with a new creature. I will put you on that for right that. But now he ain't said be baptized. Amen. And when he had received me, he was strengthened, and then saw uh, continued daily with the other side, which was at the master. And straightway he preached. Christ in the city of the intent. Now you've been killing Christ a little more. Straight away he preached Christ in the city of God. Praise God. That he was the Son of God. But all that heard him were understood. Amazed. And said, If not if he that destroyed them which called on the name of the Lord. And came hither for that intent that he might bring them bound and unto the chief priest. But Saul increased the more in strength. Okay. Finally, the Jews which dwell at the mountain, proving that this is the very Christ. He changed. But what happened to him now, if you look back at the lesson, he was filled with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Otherwise, that boy got filled with the Holy Ghost, the man who first day, I know we talked about that Sunday, when after those people had gotten saved and they had filled the priest, and they got them saved, and they got saved at the end, and before they got the Holy Ghost, they got baptized. Then, then we talk about that we talk about that one well again before in the book of Acts when when uh, uh, after they to see the Holy Ghost, after they had the Holy Ghost peace, they repeated one of you and be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and each other received the gift of hope. It was baptized. So each time people were baptized. Each time they get baptized at the end of a man, why? Because simply baptism is an important thing. I'm not talking about doctrine of baptism. 
Amen. Yeah, because they didn't use a doctor for themselves because they didn't baptize people in different types of ways. But they were baptized. Are oh, you listening to what I'm saying? Yeah. But now, for him to be in faith to God, yeah. after a praise God, he had gotten a praise God, the Holy Ghost. The next point was to get his conscience clean. Mm -hmm. Right? Amen. So he could really preach the word of God. Well, God said, you're going to suffer me the name, amen, praise God. And Paul, when he began speaking in tongues, the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues, y'all know that. Yeah. He's speaking in tongues, why? He's speaking in tongues, we're going to say, man, and, and, and that's the hell of this. And like you said, amen, they were filled with the Holy Ghost, they were baptized in the Holy Ghost, and speaking in tongues, praise God, and, 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 amen, and, and that's the evidence of being filled with the Holy Ghost. Speaking in tongues is the evidence of being filled with the Holy Ghost, but, Amen. You do number one thing before you get anything. <laughs> you got to start doing what he wants you to do. Amen. Amen. Huh? You want to be something for God, you're going to have to stop doing what you want to do. Amen. Huh? And start doing what he wants you to do. Yeah. Until you learn how to do what he wants you to do, you know how to do it. You know, matter that you come to the of being obedient to the Lord. Yes. Yes. Obeying God. You go through the motion. Praise God. You can say the song, amen, or amen, about the Lord. But you act a hypocrite. Because you can't fulfill what you're saying, you just act a hypocrite. Right. 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 You don't mean, you got to mean your word. You should mean what you said because, yeah. amen, this is the important thing. That's why the Holy Ghost is so important. That when you get filled with the Holy Ghost, you not only say what you say, you mean what you say. Amen. You not only just say it, but you have enough boldness to express the real what's in your heart. No. But you cannot follow a command. Y'all listen to me? Amen. You cannot follow a commandment. You know we does with God. And you never be nothing but yourself. You never be nothing but amen but doubt. You never uh, make no money. You never be born to amen because you want to do what you want to do. Right. Huh? Amen. You can't do what you want to do. You got to do what you, whoever, what God wants you to do or what your employer wants you to do. Right. You got to be able to amen follow the instruction. Right. Right. Then you say, man, won't you this thing that just came out and said, I'm a Christian. You got to find somebody going to tell you what to do. Amen. Uh -huh. And somebody, you're going to have to obey somebody. Yeah. Uh, you, you're going to have to, no matter how you look at it, you're going to obey somebody. You're going to have to obey somebody. Yeah. Amen. God ain't going to leave you out here by yourself at Paul. Paul was a smart man. He says he was so smart. He, he could be about 14 years different languages, and then he could do them backwards. But he still somebody had to tell him what to do. Yeah. Somebody had to tell him and show him what he was supposed to be doing for the Lord. Yeah. How he was supposed to get where he wanted to go, praise God. And he had to be with the disciples, amen, and continue with them, amen, and, and before he did the same shout, they wanted to kill him. <laughs> See, because, amen, you're going to read what you saw. <laughs> You know, you know, you know, some reading. You saw some bad seed, you're going to do some reading. But he was willing to suffer for the Lord. Oh, yeah. But the important thing is, like we said, the Holy Ghost is so important to you. You need it so bad. Amen. Uh -huh. And what should make you want it bad? A black man. Black man. Amen. The Holy Ghost, amen, started from a black man. Around the world, when the white ones and all of them, people got the Holy Ghost. It come from a black man, simple. Uh -huh. Are you listening to see? That's where the Holy Ghost came from. And uh, a slave, if the dad was a slave, he said he had even one eye, one of his eyes that had been destroyed by a small mm. He only had one eye. And he preached. And we had to. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Hallelujah. And the Holy Ghost broke out around the world. All over the world. But he said, because this one black man had enough boldness to stand for his word. Isn't that amazing? Amen. Amen. And that this man, praise God, had to preach the word of God. We've done the Holy Ghost. But all the 
charges that we can uh, speak in charge came from one simply one thing is black man. Mm -hmm. That's speaking in the Holy Ghost. Speaking in the preacher of the Holy Ghost. Speaking in tongues. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. That's amazing. Amen. amen. All these folks say amen. Well, they don't need to speak in the Holy Ghost. Some of them need to speak the entire kids. Amen. But people say amen. They say it was. They, they, they say amen. They were great. They started off with five hours. Five hours. They increased it to seven hours. The prayer seven hours a day. Pray five hours and then increased it to seven hours. Amen. They were praying for the Bible. They were praying for the Bible. Praise the God. And when it broke out, it was around the world. All over the world, it was like it filled up. All over the world. The revival continued for like 15 months. I was a hungry power. But they had so many people, they had to the call it out of the porch. They couldn't get the building out, but they had to make the poor get out of the porch. But if you were coming in and getting the Holy Ghost, then they had to get the Holy Ghost. Praise God. They were getting the building, 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 Praise God. Enjoy the blessing of God. The blessing of the Holy Ghost. Amen. They praise pray God. They had three services every day. Three services a day. They might get one service. They had three services a day. People was praying to God, speaking in tongues. Flying in from everywhere. Coming from everywhere. Every praise. Amen. And they get filled with the Holy Ghost. Speaking in a tongue with the Spirit of God. Can you say amen? Amen. 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 And, and, and in that time, praise God. In, in that time, amen, people didn't have that. They didn't have that. Well, I think they said it was uh, about 8,000 cars in the whole United States. 8,000. 8,000 oh. cars. The right brothers just had lifted their foot in. And this happened in uh, April 1906. A right brother had to, amen, he got to quit after and off the ground. I think he got him back in 1905. That right brother just had to lift his hand up. Tony Ellison, amen, like, yeah, that kind of guy that called him. Amen. I think it was about 26 brothers then. 26 brothers. Amen. Amen. 26 brothers. Amen. Hey, hey, man. So it was a, 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 a big man. This is a time when they didn't go back to The lights just yes, had come on. Al Brand just had sun fried. Praise God. God was dark day all over the world, praise God. The light came on, and the lights of the Holy Ghost came on. Ah, oh. Lord, around the world. Around the world, the lights had praise God. The Holy Ghost started. Praising God, magnifying God. Hallelujah. Being blessed, being blessed. Yeah. Amen. Being blessed of the Lord. You know what I'm talking about? Amen. Otherwise, they started in a bad in a time where people needed wisdom. Yeah. They needed knowledge. Right. Yeah. Well, black folks didn't have nothing. Mm. No, the black folks didn't have nothing. Yeah. Amen. Yes, it's slavery. But they start obeying God, receiving the Holy Ghost, and being blessed. Amen. All right. All right. Now, you know what? Where I get out of it is the blessing started when there was no blessing. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, nobody blessed. Nobody. nobody. Eight thousand in the whole United States. Precious God. Every man, they just got to do a little bit. Every man, every man, I guess I'm going to go try this. Yes, stop flying. Uh -huh. Amen. Light shed, come on. Let your light. You let your light shed, come on. Are you just one dumb man? Yeah. Amen. In it, almost a dark time, a dark day, a dark time, when God started doing a marvelous work to a black man. Yeah. People get filled with the Holy Ghost. Speaking in tongues. Magnifying God. Glory to God. Amen. Even the 
white folks at the old and look for the price got everywhere. You're right there in Los Angeles, California. <coughs> or they were going in the white folks and the happy black folks, they were meeting them together. And they all were talking in tongues, praising God, enjoying the blessing of the Lord. Amen. But what they mean to them was because of this. And it was in a dark time. To let you know that God just began to bless the world. The world. Oh, what? Just been blessed. The world. Not just the day. The world was in darkness. The whole United States of America was in darkness. Praise God. Amen. Oh, yes, God likes it. Talk to me like he did you know him. Amen. Everybody walking in the middle of the day. He called the whole United States. Amen. They were the game of all of us walking. And at that point is when God started blessing America. Uh, yeah. And when I look back at what 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 really uh, and increased my faith a bit, God blessed to a black man. Uh, a black man. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the point where I look at it. I look at it. He started blessing the whole world to a black man. Black man. Black man. Uh, he right there, what was he preaching? And they bring you to uh, what's good, what's great. Get saved, sanctified, filled with holy water. Sanctified, sanctification. Bring you sanctification. Yes. Amen. Yeah, yeah. And when a brother gets saved, sanctified, and be set apart. Amen. For the Son of the Lord, and, he be, and then he get filled with the holy water. So, that's what he was preaching. He was around the world, everywhere was coming to the amen, just a, amen, and get just amen, preachers and people, to, amen, and everybody just going in and get blessed to the Holy Ghost. Amen, the Holy Ghost was, amen, being pulled out. Amen. But what you got to know, what you look at, amen, it wasn't a white bro, it was a black bro. He didn't have one eye. Right from that. One hour all the day. Amen. But they preach, they preach. Preach the gospel and the Holy Ghost to get born. Glory to God. Holy Ghost, go out with me. Hell, these folks, these folks just get full of the Holy Ghost. They go in the service, amen, the Holy Ghost just born. How God, we ain't thinking about everybody like that. We ain't thinking about everybody like that. Oh, yeah. Amen. When the Holy Ghost just started falling, amen. People right. God just get God and see, speak it in tongues, praise yeah. God. Yeah. Back in mind, come on now. Yeah. Don't tell me it can't happen. It can happen, praise God. Yeah. When people get interested and begin to thank God, they say, Lord, I want more than what I have. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Just think about it. I'm not going to get blessed. Huh? Yeah, baby, y'all blessed. You got this. But think about what God did for us for me. Think about what God can do for you now. Uh, just think about what God can do for you now. If you really had the power. You really had that anointing. You had that steadfastness, amen, that you were just going to be steadfast. Stop waving your, uh, your conviction. Stop waving, amen. Stand firm. Come on, this is the only thing that we got in it. We got to say, me and my wife, we got to say, uh -huh. huh? we got to say, we got to we got to say, we got to say, we got to say, we got to say, we got to all the way. All, all the way. we got to we got to we got to we got to to we got we got to 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 we Nothing would could turn our mind, nothing could change us. No, we were going to the left, we were going to the right. We made our mind, we were going to beg, we were going to do nothing, we were going to take a straight shoot, we were going to believe God. Yes, believe huh? We were going to get carried away with the world, and we were going to believe God until her death. She didn't get carried away. Now, why did she get carried away? She made the sanctification all the way. Amen. I thought she went all 
always seen. Amen. She went all the way. Praise God. I know when she died, somebody tried to slip something to ruin you know, you know. yeah. <laughs> Mama, she didn't believe in that. That's right. Mama. When she gave up lipstick, you were ruined, you were uh, L-ray, she gave it all up. Mm. In a dying day, praise God, she was set there in what she believed. Uh -huh. She wasn't even that great guy. Who the hell told us? She wasn't even when you saw her once, you saw her. What? She wasn't changing what he got behind his back and he put the hand just a little nothing. Uh -huh. Nobody did change. She never did change. Now, wherever she went, she did the same. Wherever she went, was, she was the same, praise God. Uh -huh. Because we took the straight shoes. Uh -huh. uh, we didn't need them. Huh? We made up our mind to serve God, to live with God. We took a straight shoot. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. We took a straight shoot. Yeah. Amen. We didn't let nothing turn us around. Nothing. Friend, enemy, friend. Mom and dad, sister and brother, nobody. Yeah. And actually, nobody ever tried to turn me around. I don't know why. Nobody never tried to turn me around. I, Amen. I know ain't no preacher. I ain't nobody trying to turn me around and change my mind. Can you see my again? Because I guess they knew I had a step back in mind and I wasn't going to change. I'm not going to change. See, now, if y'all looking for a change, you ain't looking for no preacher to change. I ain't going to change. <laughs> uh -huh. I won't change. I won't change. There's one thing I'm not going to do is change. Can you leave me in? And listen to another say one time, the drug cow is all over you, hold up, and don't change. I ain't gonna change. Praise <laughs> God. Thank God, I'm gonna say praise God. Because I don't see no use of people going in and changing. Mm. Right. I believe you need to take a stand for God, live for God, and be what you ought to be for God. Yeah. Can you say me again? Because yeah. so you don't get nothing in life with changing. Oh, you don't get it if people uh, talk, people respect you and then tell them disrespect you. Uh -huh. You don't respect you, you let them never respect you. Stand for the Lord. Can you say you I think y'all be like that. Yeah. Uh, you been in life to be leaving it right now, you know. You can say you ready for to make some change in life. Yeah. But why change now? Right. Your change, your change while you're young. Uh -huh. yeah. right. You say, man. When you get old, you ought to have a step back mind. Your mind ought to be step back to go with God, to live with God, talk in tongues, pray with God, imagine like God, and live on. I mean, I'm saying, what am I? Amen. You can see when you get kids, and when you get saved, you kind of cause them. You sit down and see what you're able not to do to be able to be. Then when you start building the building, you don't have a sufficient for to finish, and everybody has seen the building, start laughing at it. Yes, right. Laughing at the big fun of you, praise God. Then this thing started something you couldn't finish. You don't want to start something in life you can't finish. Yeah, right. You want to finish what you start. You see what I'm talking about? You want to finish what you start. Nobody looking around right and say, hey, brother, you, know, you started something you couldn't finish. Yeah, right. Whatever you start in life, make sure you can finish. Finish your praise God. Finish your coats, can you say, but I think all that I'll finish my coats. I kept the faith. I fought a good fight. Come on, you got to finish. You need to finish. Make up your mind to finish something. Make up your mind to finish something, praise God. Get full of the Holy Ghost so full, amen, that you set the city on fire. Amen. That's that you said on fire, amen. Praise God. Because, amen, amen. See, you, you know, it, 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 amen. You get blessed if I just hold it out, believe in God. This man is semi. And we had just, amen, gave up and I preached and he had a hard time and people locked him out and we got preaching on the phone and this sanctification. They locked him out and, amen. Talk to Can't preach Kept preaching to find the whole world called fire. Somebody came to me. Somebody came to fire your whole life. Somebody came to fire your whole life. So you keep bouncing in and bouncing out. They ain't gonna have nobody. They ain't gonna have nobody. They ain't gonna have nobody. You bouncing in and bouncing out. Only when you have anybody, they can fuck.
warm, stand, stand for God, live for God, feel holy, live clean. Amen. And prove to the world that you don't have to be in and you don't have to buy. You don't have to have him. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Amen. That's how it's said. I'm going to allow you to go in and you have to go by yourself. You go in and you have to go by yourself. You have to make the decision. Amen. I can't say that. I'm not going to do it myself. I don't believe in nobody else, none of nobody, in cave to nobody. Can you say that again? Because God is too good. God is such a good God. And the middle way God, you don't need to be cave to other folks. Amen. Can you say amen? Amen. Amen. I ain't, I ain't got nobody to prove nothing to but apart with Jesus. I love what wisdom is all about. Amen. 